as I told you in the beginning, I do not consider what we are doing in this uh, meeting as a teaching activity. It's different. It's more uh, an account of an investigation I'm doing, the problems, uh, concepts. Huh? Uh, why I say this again? Because in some way I feel I told you what I had to tell you. <laughs> of course, there could be many, much more things. Of course, the investigation is very big. But in, in such a short time, I tried to I choose some lines, some concepts, some problems. And I feel that perhaps I told you what I could tell you in, uh, in this context. I don't know what you feel. I, mean, I hope that, that the problem uh, and uh, the conceptuality it can uh, demand. Uh, I try to tell you, to tell you. I don't know what is your impression. So, I want, just to say this, that uh, today, as it is our last meeting, I'd like that uh, our meeting could take the form of a discussion. Mm -hmm. So we can discuss mm -hmm. all aspects of the problem. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Judith Butler asked to make a common discussion. But this, I thought, eventually, if you agree, for the second part of the seminar. Let's now first discuss between us, mm -hmm. and then, if you agree, we can go at half past five in the second part of the seminar if, to, to see what uh, we can do to that. To, uh, just one thing before starting the discussion. Just uh, There is one concept I mentioned yesterday in the lecture on which I'd like to dwell for a while with you. Is this concept disturbed effect? Uh, as I told you in the conference, this uh, very interesting monk, this uh, specialist liturgy, Odo Kaiser, in this essay, Mysterium Gegenwart, 1928, uh, Mysteric Presence, uh, points out the fact that in the sacrament, in the Eucharist, Christ is present. But how is it present? He, he, he underscores the fact that his presence against other theoreticians saying, uh, uh, no, it's not, uh, we have not a presence, we have the effects. We have the effects. We have the effects, meaning the fact that we, we share salvation, uh, we, you know, we are saved. Uh, if we, uh, so the effects are there, the grace. Communication of the grace, but not the presence. On the contrary, it says, no, in a mystery we have a presence, but it is a mysteric presence which is different from the uh, historical presence of, of the individual Jesus who uh, many centuries ago uh, was uh, crucified in a certain place. So this is an historical event. And the Eucharist is not a repetition of the event as an historical fact. It is a repetition of, and then he, in, in German, he has this term Wirklichkeit, which is a, a German term for, for reality, mm -hmm. something which is real. But then, and then he will say, when the fathers use the term, the Latin term, effectus. <laughs> So our third effect comes from effectus, yeah? that term. But then Castle uh, uh, affirms, and I think he's right, that in the language of the theologians, and also in Latin, effectus did not mean what we intend for effect. No? In English, like, like, you know, I suppose, like in other languages, effect is some, the result of the cause is what is uh, produced by something else. And they say, no, in Latin, effectus, and especially then in the theologian uh, vocabulary, effectus means a reality. Reality. Yeah. Like in effective, effectiveness. Uh, does it exist in English, those words? Effectuality, effectiveness? 
Effectiveness, no, effectuality, yes. Effectuality, so some which is effective, mm. is present, is real, effectiveness. not uh, effectiveness. Yeah. Yeah. I think it exists uh, both, because I found, <laughs> I found in, the book, in the dictionary, but oh, yeah. I don't know which is used and which not. Mm. We'll say more effectuality. Effectuality, yes. Yeah. Some which is effective, which is there. But, he repeats again, this does not mean that Christ as a physical person, an historical individual, uh, is there. Of course not. He is present in his effectiveness. Meaning, again, first, that it is a presence which will produce certain effects. The salvation, the, the grace, etc. So he uh, will write... Um, a mis mistake presence <coughs> means a real, in German, wirklich presence, but a reality, wirklichkeit, of a special kind. It is a reality which corresponds to the function of the sacrament that is producing salvation. So, he will say, the, the very mysteric reality, effectivity, effectiveness of Christ is the high stuff, the action of redemption. So the action is there, present, not as a, an effect of the grace, etc. So the, the presence of Christ has this peculiar nature. But this, my, that was I trying to say yesterday, is that this implies a transformation on an ontological level, because it implies that the model of reality of being, when something exists, is there is understood in this way, which is linked to the efficacy, not only the production of effects, but a, a, a presence which is operative. Yeah? I, I, I think that, that the good translation for the German, wirklich, perhaps something like in English, it works, it is operative, mm -hmm. it functions, it is there, it is present, uh, you cannot, uh, otherwise you cannot... Uh, so it is real there, but it's not considered as the fact of pure being, like perhaps in uh, Greek. Uh, in Greek, perhaps uh, when Aristotle say, said to on, he meant the pure presence of something, independently from its effectiveness, from the subject who see it, from the effects it produces on other. No, there, there is a kind of uh, something is there, appears, nothing more. In this new ontological model, Presence means effectuality also in the sense something must work, must operate, is operative. And I think that uh, this great transformation of ontological paradigms, the shifting from this Greek model of pure presence to a wirklichkeit, an effectivity, I think this is our. We do not have the, the, this old Greek model. When we say that something is real, exists, we mean something more similar to what uh, cousin meant, something which is operative. It's present, mm -hmm. but if it is present, it has effects, works. It's effectual. Uh, only in the way that there is a subject and object that sees. I mean, we, I think that we received this notion after this great transformation, which was operated as we saw, especially in theology. But the, the, ver the term effectus, also in uh, original Latin, did not mean only effect. Right? They didn't use this uh, thing when you say, so, uh, it, like, like in the couple, cause effect. You do not find this in Latin. Eh? And in Latin, this term appears very uh, quite lately, quite late, 45 BC. So it's not an old uh, term of the Latin vocabulary. And when we find it for the first time in Cicero, for instance, and Varro, I think that we must pay attention to, to, the mean, to the real meaning of the word. For instance, one of the first apparition instances of the term is in Cicero. In Cicero, we write, Effectus eloquentiae audentium appromatio. I translate literally so that you understand. Effectus, effect, let's say effect for, for a moment of eloquence, 